YouTube, what is up? We are shooting back with another video today, guys. And today's video would be on my new EDC Glock 43X and all the upgrades I have done to it and what is to come. So, I will start out by saying because I switched to the 43X or a Glock does not mean the Taurus G2C is trash. The Taurus G2C has held up and I have carried it for months and I have not had one failure to feed out of it. So anytime I have a failure to feed, I do post a video on the channel and you guys can check it out. So, so with that being said, I have a question. Let me know which one you think jammed first. The Taurus G2C or the Glock 43X. Let me know in the comments. And then if you want, after this video, go check out the videos in my YouTube shorts and you will see which one has jammed first. Or which one has jammed. So enough talking. Let's get to the gun itself. Um, we have the Glock 43X MOS. Um, so the first thing I decided on this gun was definitely the red dot and the flashlight. So this red dot is by ADE. Um, they are designed in Oregon, USA. Um, I always just... I always say support anything that comes out of the United States. It is solar powered or battery. And this one is called the ADE Apollo. Um, second on the list, like I said, my flashlight. I went on to get the TLR7 sub stream light specifically for a Glock 43. Um, I think you can get them for different guns, but uh, I'm not sure. Does anybody know if you can get the sub for anything other than a Glock? Let me know in the comments also. Um, yes, this light is extremely bright. I love it. Um, it fits like a glove to it. It uh, does everything it needs to do. And as far as the red dot, yes, the, I'm sorry for jumping back and forth, but the red dot. You cannot beat the ADE Apollo. As a matter of fact, if you are looking for a budget-friendly red dot, I would say go with ADE. Um, I have about five, six hundred rounds through this gun with that red dot on it, and it has stayed zeroed. It works as good as my Trigicon RMR. Um, I have a Holoson. I can't think of the uh, model it is, but I have a Holoson on a pistol. I have a Sig red dot, and I mean, for a hundred bucks, you really can't go wrong with this because. It holds at zero. It does what it needs to do. Um, I believe I could put it on my AR and it would hold zero. I believe I could put it on a 45, a 10 millimeter, a 44, and it would hold zero. Such a great red dot. Hasn't let me down. And that's why I chose ADE to go with. Um, if, you ha if you guys haven't checked out ADE, they are on eBay. You can look them up. Um, ADE Spike is a good one, ADE Apollo, and the next one I may get is the ADE Trumpet, but if you guys haven't checked them out, go to eBay, they're a good price, um, you can't beat them, like I said, uh, I, I believe I got this one for 115 and uh, it came with everything you need to mount it, so uh, yeah, anyway, I'll get on, um, back to the light, uh, you can't beat this light haven't had to change the batteries in it yet it is super bright and I thought about doing a light comparison video because I have a Surefire X300 Ultra I have a Olight Valkyrie PL3S it's it's stupid amazing I have this and I have the Solifish um, I thought about doing a comparison and trying to let you guys pick which one you think the bright is the brightest i know which one's the brightest but i'm gonna let you guys pick so if that's something you guys would be interested in let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that light comparison let me know in the comments 
So the second or the third thing I went with is a threaded barrel. I got my threaded barrel from OpticPlanets.com. Um, actually got here a couple of days early. Um, you do have to wait uh, five or six days for them to even ship it, but it's definitely worth it and for the price. And one thing I've noticed about Glock is that all the parts are fairly cheap. This threaded barrel for this 43X was around $90 compared to the threaded barrel on my G2C which was $170. Now it did have a thread protector and um, that was it. Yeah, so $170 versus $90. Um, you know, you would think it'd be the other way around because you are buying accessories for a Glock and the Glock is the more expensive gun, but it's not. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, from Optics Planet, I have this. If you guys haven't checked them out, go to their website, check them out. They have great deals. And I even got like $5 off of this or something. So, yeah, you may get coupons too. Next thing I went with was the Agency Arms Compensator. Um, now, I just put this compensator on here a couple of days ago. I haven't been able to see if it's actually going to comp. Um, for people who have Agency Arm Compensators on their Glock 43X, does it comp? Does it work? Um, let me know. I'm excited to shoot it. I'm ready to... Uh, get to the range soon and just see what it can do how it performs and stuff um one more thing about my ade the sites co-witness that's another good thing ade offers sites co-witness um so of course i wanted to turn my glock 43 my EDC into a cool looking gun that fitted that fits my hand that I like and that I enjoy shooting and something I would trust to turn to save my life so yeah with all that being said I went with the flared magwell um, I can't remember exactly where I got the flared magwell from but uh, it does seem really nice um, it does poke out a little extra which I like that look on guns it gives it more of a competition looking style gun um that's me though you know I like uh, modifying guns and stuff so the next thing I went on to get was the 15 round PSA micro dagger magazine a lot of people didn't know that you can buy these and they work in the Glock 43X. I did not know that till I did my research on the internet. Now, I had to wait, I had to watch the site um, day after day because they are out of stock a lot of times for that reason, I believe, because everybody's buying them now. But uh, yes, I haven't, uh, like I said, I got this the other day as well. And I have not been able to see how it functions, but I'm sure it's going to function great. Um, now, this one is plastic in the front, and it's steel in the back. Okay, so that means you won't have to change your mag release your, um, because it will work with the plastic or the polyamor. Um, used to, they would make all steel 15 round mags and you would have to change your mag release out but not on these guys they are plastic in the front steel in the back so it all works out for the good uh psa fixed that up if you guys haven't checked them out go to psa and check them out um they have great deals uh anything um and they are great weapons so with that being said let's get on um so i'm thinking about putting a hogue rubber grip around here I'm not sure. I thought about suppressor sights, but definitely probably going to get night sights for this. And I actually thought about getting my slide cut. 
a little design in there um, maybe an apex trigger yeah like I said I've never modified a Glock before I've never had to I always like a Glock right out of the box but this one has changed my mind about modifying them I enjoyed this and I enjoyed putting money into this so I believe I'm gonna start modifying all my others soon and um, I will keep you guys updated on that but um, yeah um, if you guys know a good trigger that I should put in a 43x let me know drop it in the comments um, I'm all ears for any opinion or anything I'm not biased against any weapon no matter what it is, or any brand I'm willing to try anything um, I would like a lighter trigger though um, I do have my factory 10 round mags I have three of those bad boys um, still great mags from a one day one and I have my Glock bag that I carry around. Oh, and I also have the factory barrel as well. Um, so that's going to wrap it up right now on the 43X. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned because we're going to be shooting back at you real soon with some new videos possibly some new customization videos but um hope you guys enjoy have a good day